everyone and welcome back to my channel again. So we're back with the reveal of <clears throat> how it went um, comparing Lily and Fox to Color Street or vice versa. <laughs> um, just wearing them together and seeing how they did. It has not been a week however, it has only been five days. Today's Monday and I did my nails on Wednesday. I wanted to redo them yesterday. Actually, I wanted to redo them like Saturday because I was just ready to make a change and I have so many nails and I want to wear something else, but um, stuck with it. Um, <laughs> and by yesterday, they were looking pretty bad, to be honest. Um, not really the color street so much as the Lily and Fox. So I'm going to show you more close up. I'll put my camera at a different angle, but you can kind of see these, these fingers that have the Lily and Fox on them are very white at the ends. So it's interesting how they wore off, especially these two on my right hand. They wore off like a sticker almost. Um, this does not happen to Color Street. As you'll see, I have two layers of Color Street here. That is perfectly fine. My pinkies, I put two layers of glitter on. They're perfectly fine. And yes, I am comparing glitter to a design. So, you know. <clears throat> grain of salt there with, um, I didn't use a Lillian Fox glitter. However, I did put a top coat over it and I didn't put a top coat over, um, Color Street. I just used Color Street because honestly, Color Street has base and top coat built in. So you can see, but I can do a close. So here are my nails after five days. So it was, um, Wednesday when I applied these and today is Monday. And I have two layers of Color Street on my pinkies. You can see those are just fine. And then these are Lily and Fox. Let's see. You can see my nail just showing right through there. These are worse on my right hand. I don't know why. Maybe because I use my right hand more since I'm right hand dominant. And then this is just one layer of Color Street. And yeah, there's a little bit of wear at the tip, but... Not too bad. And this set was old. If you remember my first video, it was older and might have been exposed to heat. I got it from someone else. I don't know if they had it in a warm place or something, but it was a little bit damaged. So that's that. My kind of, I don't want to say final thoughts because I'll probably use the other package at some point in the future and try them again. The brown design that I have from Lillian Fox and make a mix Manny with Color Street. However, if I do that, I'm probably going to have to put more of a heavy duty top coat on or something because these did not last. Um, the tips wore off. I'll show you. Day one. I'll show you right here. So the tips wore off um, the, the day after I applied them, basically. They were starting to show white. So if it had been like a, a dark color, imagine how bad that would have looked. I mean, this is a lighter pastel -y color, so you can't see it as much. And plus with the design having some light on it, you can't tell as much that it's wearing off. But I just got to say, um, you know, you kind of get what you paid for, what you pay for. $2.99. I don't know. They say they're on sale from $9.99, but I think it's been like that for like a year, maybe more. So I don't know. I mean, I looked at a lot of their designs, like in my free time, if I'm just laying down and relaxing, I'll look at their designs and peruse and they have some good, you know, cute designs. And at one point, you know, I had like 13 in my cart. I wasn't going to check out. I wasn't going to buy any more until I did this test of the Lillian Fox. But um, my kind of passion or intrigue for them is wearing off as I wear them and they wear off. So let's just put it that way. Um, not maybe even worth the $3 per set. However, I know there are a lot of people that wear them regularly and have a, have good luck with them, have um, good results. 
So there may just be something I'm missing, like a good top coat. I'm sorry, the sirens are running because it's noon on Monday. <laughs> I gave it an honest shot. <laughs> I was actually, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt, putting the clear coat over them so that they would, like, you know, my Color Street Nail Strengthener, which is, I've had really good luck with this, using it with Color Street. And they say that Lillian Fox is nail polish on top of the, an adhesive, well, I don't know if they say adhesive, a backing. I, I don't know if they particularly say what the backing is made out of, but they do outline all of their ingredients on their website very clearly so you can look at what the ingredients are in Lillian Fox. I kind of already know, I kind of already know how much I love Color Street and that it's nail polish and that it's got so many patents and it can't be, you know, it's not going to be recreated on the market by anybody else. So for now, I'm excited to take these off. Um, another thing that I it kind of annoys me about these is that I think it says on their website to use like lukewarm water instead of hot water and that that will help with them but when I wash my hands I'm not gonna use cold water <laughs> to wash my hands and then when I do use warm water it's like every time you get them wet the sticker kind of wears off and it's just my experience just putting it out there like I said, they have really cute designs and there could be something I'm doing wrong. But for now, I'm going to take them off and enjoy my color street because I have so much anyway. And there's new fall sets I'm going to wear. Um, where's my catalog? But the one I'm anxious to wear is this one right here. Smoke and mirrors. So I think I'm going to put that one on. It's a purple gradient or ombre. Yeah, I'll say they're purple. Purple. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to put on. I'm excited to change them and get something new on my hands and um happy labor day weekend everybody i hope you're having a wonderful um labor day weekend and i hope that you get to enjoy it um and take a break from working so hard so what i'm gonna do is use all the tools i usually use for taking them off i won't record that for you but i am going to show you what i normally do <laughs> glasses nail clips Okay, cheap. You can get these Walmart, Amazon, Color Street nail polish remover, which is awesome. And my little cotton pads, which I actually cut into quarters. <laughs> so this is a quarter of one. Wet it, put it in the nail clip, clip it on for a couple minutes and it comes right off. And I love our nail polish remover. It actually smells good. You can use it around your family and it won't disgust them or, you know, make them want to leave the room. <laughs> it's very nice and classy smelling. So I recommend you try this. It's, it's a great product. And the nail strengthener. Love the nail strengthener. I haven't had any problems with this under my color street or over my color street. It just extends the life of them, you know helps them not wear as quickly or as hard. So I love those products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that um, I'm sorry that my results weren't, I guess I don't need to apologize. Um, if you if you use and love Color Street, you know, you just know. And yeah, you pay a little bit more than Lillian Fox, but you get more out of it too. I don't have to change my nails every two days or three days because they wear off, you know, like I go a week at least for me. And I'm hard on my hands, so I need something that will last. All right, guys, that's the video and I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.